Hello everyone, this is Nick from Arcade Hunters, and this is the final PlayStation 2 Arcade Home Port review for the Street Fighter series that I have, and this of course is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Now, as you can see from the title screen here, there are a lot of characters, and that is a lot more than that were originally offered back when the arcade version came out in 1998. And when this game came out in, on the home, I mean, this game had a ton of home ports. It was on the PlayStation 1, Saturn, Dreamcast, Game Boy Advance, and then finally on the PSP, where it was even upgraded more with four new characters, including Eagle and um, Ingrid from Capcom Fighting All-Stars. So they just added in just so much stuff in this game, and this is one of my favorite games in Street Fighter, just in general. And as you can see on the left, this is one of the brand new characters that was added in. This is Karen, who was introduced back in the Street Fighter comic series in Japan as Sakura's rival. And I really like her because she plays like Fei Long, but as you can see right there, she's got a counter that she can do. She can do a high counter and a low counter. Kind of like an SNK character where, kind of like Goro and, I guess, uh, Geese, where, you know, you have to be really careful when you fight a good pl uh, player that uses those characters because they can just grab you out of the air and absolutely demolish you. Now, two uh, more characters to note that were added in. Uh, you're going to be seeing next Cody from Final Fight was added in, and Arminka, the uh, female wrestler who is, I guess, a big fan of Zangief. Now, there's also secret characters that you originally couldn't select in the arcade game, but they were added into the home versions, and that was the boxer Balrog um, and Bison's two bodyguards, Junie and Julie, who used kind of uh, the same moves as Cammy, but a little bit different. Uh, I think Julie is more punch-oriented and Junie's more kick-oriented. Now, as I said, the home versions just added in the characters. I mean, they finished off the original Street Fighter cast by adding in Honda and Blanca and Vega and you know, okay. Guile, T-Hawk, Fei Long, and DJ. I mean, they added in all of the characters to finish off the Alpha 2 series, and it's... You know, it really just made that more of a complete game, and the stuff on, um, as I said, from uh, our friend that runs Substance TV, Brian, he is a big fan of the Saturn version, which lets you play the dramatic battles, which pretty much any character that you want, you can do two characters versus one really strong character, and that's something that you can't do in the other versions of this game on home consoles, even the Dreamcast version. While it does have the Psycho Dojo mode where you can build up a character kind of RPG style, it does not have that dramatic battle. You can pretty much only play against the bosses, so you can only play against Shinokuma and Final uh, Bison, I think that's what they call them. Now, as you can see on the bottom of this are the isms, and that's the name of the game. And there's three different isms that you can use. The first one is the exism, and that's more of a simple type of combo that they kind of takes you back to a super turbo where you get just one giant um, super bar and you can unleash one big attack that takes off a lot of life and it's pretty good. Now right here you can see I'm using Cody with the Vism and Vism is the custom combo that was introduced in Alpha 2 and as you can see you can build it up at half strength or you can use it at full strength and as I, I said in one of the other um, recordings that didn't get put on was I've watched a lot of videos of the Alpha 3 um, fighting series where it was Diego playing against Alex Valle from from California and those two guys I mean absolutely demolished this game I mean watching some of their videos where it was them uh, I think uh, Alex was Akuma and um, Diego of course was uh, Ryu so they were just absolutely just destroying everything now this is one of the cool things that I saw with this. If you uh, play a Sodom on the left here and you choose Exism, you can actually use him with his original Katanas from Final Fight, which is, you know, pretty cool, even though Sodom isn't really that good of a character, but it is he's still pretty cool. Now, what was cool about this was, you know, even though this game did come out in the arcades in 98, 
it was re-released in the arcades in 2001 on the Naomi hardware, the uh, Sega Naomi hardware, which uh, you'll be seeing in the next round of videos for all of the Dreamcast videos, and they released that as 03 Upper, and that had all the added characters, and I think they um, did fix some of the, uh, I think there's some glitching problems where you can actually roll through characters and stuff like that, you know, I'm not entirely sure, because, you know, as I said, you know, while I love to play Street Fighter, you know, I'm not really up to terms with, like, like a lot of the terminology and what exactly they, uh, switched in and out on the games. So, hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, little video review as I finish up here, uh, with, uh, Birdie, uh, kicking my ass, and, you know, it's really cool to, uh, be doing these videos for you guys, and, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with, uh, of course, the Dreamcast series of Street Fighter games. I have a lot of them, and uh, hopefully you guys will check them out. And as always, thank you very much for watching our videos here on Arcade Hunters. So, have a good one, and thanks for watching.